The main point that that came up was when we were looking at finding economic solutions for technology access for the kids and um, finding that I had uh, a department of one. So I needed to find a solution that would meet the needs of the school, the kids, but something that I could actually support. We were doing laptops. We had, um, at one point, we had 425 laptops in circulation, and it was me and a half-time tech. And that just became, unless you could have a capital influx every five years or so, it was too much for a small team. And then when it was just me, mm -hmm. I had to find a different approach. Uh -huh. And when we moved into the current facility, it sort of opened up an opportunity to find something that could take advantage of the, you know, fixed network and more powerful network than what we were doing before. Um, the main things was that it was a historic building and that they were um, actually, um, there's certain walls that we could not open, that we could not uh, take out, and so we had to sort of work within some limitations of that. And then we also had um, two wings that were completely being built very you know, fresh, and so that meant that uh, we could have some more fun there, but we had to balance that with what the historic wing could do. It would demand a lot more power and a lot more cables to actually run that solution. And then, because they're shared uh, computing resources, I could manage all of them over the network, whereas these desktops would just take so much space, um, you know, with a class of 25, um, having 20 desktops was just going to be too much for a classroom to have.